talk a lot right now because I actually have to get on a Zoom at 12 and right now it is 11.50 and I am kind of a little bit unprepared. I am cutting time close today. I'm going to focus on getting ready and then we're going to go on this Zoom. I am trying to get on this Zoom, trying to get everything together. Zooms always make me so nervous. Back when I was in school, having to get on Zooms every day was literally one of the worst things ever for my anxiety, even though my camera was always off. I was always so, so um, scared that my microphone or camera was on. I am in the meeting room, so I'm gonna get back with you guys after. Oh my gosh, I literally just get so my nerves, I'm really sweating through this shirt right now probably. I'm definitely going to have to change, but I just got done with my Zoom meeting. It literally took me no time at all. I'm pretty sure it's only, yeah, it's 12.06 and the Zoom was at 12. It was just like going over a few things, so I knew it wasn't gonna be like 30 minutes or anything like that, but that is done for the day. But basically, let's talk about today's video, kind of talk about some things. So today's video, I really wanted to kind of bring you guys along because in one of my recent vlogs, I kind of opened up more about like my health journey, what I'm doing and everything. And you guys actually really, really liked that. It had a lot of positive feedback and I was so, so happy. I kind of wanted to like start almost like a series kind of on my channel about like how I'm going through life and this like healthier, more be better version of myself. So for this one, it's kind of like how to be productive and organized, which I'm still very new to. I mean, everyone has productive days, but like more organized because if I'm being completely 100% honest, I'm not the most organized person in the whole entire world, but I have been doing some things lately that have helped me get organized. So I'm so excited for that to show you guys. I'm basically, it's just gonna kind of take you guys along with today, kind of how I'm productive, how I organize my days. One of the things that I have been doing, I talked about this in my last vlog actually, in my notes app, I have been doing to-do lists for the day. So like today, I have my to-do list, I have workout, get coffee and bars. That was like something I had to get after the gym. Zoom meeting, finish the goal, which is actually my current read, which you are sitting on top of right now. Um, film March reading wrap up and edit it and take some Instagram pictures. And that's all I have for today. When it comes to a to-do list, I love to have very small and achievable things. That way when I check them off, I still feel good about it, but it's not things that are too big. Like if I was like, oh, edit 10 videos today and upload them like that's obviously not going to happen but these are very achievable goals so far we have already worked out we got the coffee bars we did the zoom meeting so now what i'm going to do is we're going to go downstairs and make some food because i have not yet ate today so during that time i'm going to make some breakfast we're going to finish my book because i have to film my march reading wrap up today and edit it because it does have a brand integration in it so i have to send that over to them as soon as possible so i can upload that as soon as possible but i have to film that and edit it today but also for the video i do want to finish up the to integrate into that even though it's the first of march i did start this book yesterday and didn't finish it so i'm just counting it to february let's go downstairs let's make some food and then we're gonna finish this book okay guys so my mom is being kind enough she's back there to make me some breakfast right now i'm just kind of chilling but the reason i turned on the camera is because we are going to make my coffee that i like to drink so actually recently you guys know if you're like a long time or you guys just watch my channel how much i love starbucks after integrating and doing this new life <laughs> yeah it's a lifestyle more healthy i have not had like i don't drink it anymore because it's like my matcha is dear in my heart, but it's very, very unhealthy for you. I still, though, like, look for caffeine in other ways because I don't know why I always get so tired throughout the day. But I used to drink this coffee years ago. Shout out to my brother because he is the one that put me on to this. It was, like, years ago. But it's still the Starbucks coffee, but it's the vanilla latte. It's just the iced espresso. So I use this. And guess what, guys? Guess what? Look at this. I ordered this freaking cup off Etsy the other day. I actually ordered another one, but it's like shipping to me now. I got this one and it's just pink smiley face with a bunch of hearts. I literally ordered them because I'm constantly, like I'm like drinking coffee and I just wanted like a cute cup for them. How freaking whatever is that? But anyway, basically how I make my coffee is I literally just put 
ice in this cup and I put in that, put in some milk and then I put in some creamer. I bought this new one at Walmart today. I usually have, this is a creamer that I always use. It is the International Delight Hazelnut. We're, not, we're trying some different today. Hey guys, so I just, I just finished the goal and I gave it a three and a half stars. But if you want to hear more about my thoughts on this book and the rest of the books I read in February, then go watch my what I read in February wrap up because that shit. Okay, hi Charlie. Mm -hmm. I am about to film my February reading wrap up. So just want to kind of update you guys. You know, we're staying organized, sticking to the to-do list. But the first thing that I need to do is film the ad integration for my video because I'm actually very, very bad at ad reads. <laughs> like very bad, I forget it so, so easily. And if I posted an unedited ad read, you guys would probably think I was psychotic. Not gonna lie, it gets a little hectic, so. I'm gonna do that and see you guys after I have filmed the video. <sighs> okay guys, I just filmed my reading wrap up. This is like always what my floor looks like. Hold on, you guys can't really see. This is like always what it looks like behind the scenes. Very, very messy. I just did that, so I think I'm going to put my camera battery on charge. I'm gonna upload these clips to my laptop. I'm gonna plan out some other stuff. We can check off that we filmed our February wrap up. I love, I'm telling you guys, I love to do the little to-do lists because it makes me feel so good about myself and stuff that I'm accomplishing, so. That's kind of a tip for you guys to kind of stay, oh my God, the word was just there and then it flew out of my brain. Motivated, stay motivated on what you wanna do for the day. I swear, me thinking about getting to check off these boxes keeps me so, so motivated. I'm gonna let my camera battery charge. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, I'm giving myself a little break from editing because I've been editing for a little bit, but I just like am not in the mood to edit right now. And usually, here's the thing that sucks. When I'm not in the mood to edit, I end up deleting the video. And it's not a bad video and I've edited a lot of it, so I am not going to delete it, okay? I just need to take a step back. So while I'm taking a step back, I think I can take some sunset pics. And it's like four o'clock right now, so I need to get like an outfit and stuff figured out, a location. I'm just gonna take you guys through it because I think it's so good. It's really helped me stay organized and it like has given me some motivation. I'm fairly new when it comes to Notion and I definitely am not qualified enough yet at least to like tell you guys how to do it notion and stuff but i will link down below the videos that i watched that helped me personally you guys should definitely go check those out but i'm basically just giving you guys a little notion tour because i'm super proud of it and there were a lot of hours a lot put into me doing this basically notion is kind of like an app you can literally do anything there's so many different tables spreadsheets everything that you can make i kind of just use it to plan out everything like everything so usually you have like your little home screen so i have mine so i like you can put covers icons everything like you can customize it any way that you want for me i kind of just put stuff that i like so i have my little icon and then i have my little banner and it says welcome back right here i have a widget and i'll try to link down below like the website and stuff that i use if you guys are interested but this is like a random quote of the day because i love doing little quotes of the day so i'll do this so i'll click this little button and like this quote says, if someone is showing you who they are right now, believe them. <laughs> Just super random, but yeah. And then I have my little weather icon. I live in Indianapolis today. It's 63 degrees outside, which is so, so amazing. Tomorrow's gonna be about the same. So down here is where I do my quotes of the day. So for example, yesterday's quote was, your life isn't yours if you always care what other people think. So usually what I will go do is I will go, 
to my Pinterest. Follow me on Pinterest, by the way. This is my Pinterest, in case you guys didn't know. Um, at Des Sidwell is my Pinterest. So, for example, it's this quote, don't take criticism from someone you wouldn't take advice from. So I'm gonna go over to this. Um, and then I have like my favorite stuff. And I just kind of have like random pictures or widgets like right here. I have an infinite number of reasons to be happy. Just like little reminders. I have my little time widget. This is what time it is where I live and just some little pictures, but my favorites right here, I have, of course, Anything Goes podcast. It's my favorite podcast to listen to. And this is loading, but it's my Spotify playlist. It's my, I'm a surfer girl, no one can tell me otherwise. I will also link that down below because I've been posting about that a lot on my Instagram stories recently. Right here, I have my daily do's, workout, read, edit, do my core workouts and do something that makes me happy. And I have my, remind my reminders. I have some affirmations over here just keeping me positive. That's one of my biggest goals because I'm not a very positive person naturally. And over here is the index. So I have my good habits, 2022 goals, YouTube, monthly TBRs, and reading long in journals. As you can see, those are the pages that are over here. So for example, my good habits page is over here, but it's also on my index because I can go to it from this page. So if I click good habits, it will take me to my good habits page. It has all of my habits on it. So like today is March 1st. I have worked out, I have read, I have taken my vitamins and I have edited and filmed a video. I have my 2022 goals over here. So I have my YouTube goals, my life goals, and then I have like a little vision board going on over here. And then I have a separate YouTube page. My YouTube page is a little blank right now. I have like my goals. Um, for YouTube for the year 2022 because I plan on like updating this at the end of every year um, My sub count tracker, which is something that I really like so I do it from the end of each month like last month in February I ended with roughly around 31,000 is what I had at the end of February, which is super amazing because my goal for the year is 50,000 I'm already at 31. So I kind of I'm just super excited and I also have kind of just my YouTube linked right there, but I also have sub pages within the page, if you get what I'm saying. So this one is my video ideas page. I have kind of done it into a little chart like this. Completed, I have my Callaway Sister and Kindle Unlimited video uploaded. I'm in the progress of my March reading wrap up because that's what I'm editing and I'm also filming my how to, how to be productive slash get live on track video. And these are all the videos that I have in my queue of things that I want to film. So then we go back to the YouTube page and then I have my video tracker. Of course, it's the first of the month, so I haven't uploaded anything today, but for example, you can see the 28th of February, I uploaded my Callaway reading vlog. So basically just at every day that I upload, I am putting when I uploaded each video to kind of keep track of how many videos I upload a month. Um, and then we go to my monthly TBRs page. So this is just basically where I keep my TBR. So at the beginning of each month, I write what books that I want. So then we go over my reading log, a reading journal. This one's not quite finished. Um, my reading log is so like February reads. I have all of the books that I rated. I have all the books that I read in February in their ratings and quotes. I don't really ever put down quotes unless I can really memorize them. But then March reads. So as I go on, obviously the book gets the book, the list gets longer. And but yeah, guys. So basically, that is my whole entire notion. That is essentially what we are working with. I think it's something that really makes me happy and I really like doing because I'm, I've always been so bad about keeping like actual physical like journals, writing in journals, etc. I actually plan on making a journal entries page um, where like every day I write something that I'm grateful for, maybe something that made me upset, something that made me happy because I am a person that is very, very bad about speaking things. So even if something makes me happy, something makes me sad, I probably won't say anything, <laughs> which is so bad. But basically that way I can just put it somewhere, you know, put that energy somewhere and kind of keep it there. But yeah, I don't know. I'm about to go downstairs to see if I got my orders in because I'm expecting a pack sun in an Amazon package, but I haven't gotten either of them. And my mom just pulled up. So let's go see if they're downstairs. They're probably not though. Thank you. 